Run is a film about a homeschooler who slowly starts realizing that maybe her mother is keeping a dark secret from her. This is a film that stars Sarah Paulson as the mother and of course Kira Allen as the daughter, who I believe this is her first role. I haven't seen anything with her in it, so for me it's my first role of seeing her. And I'll say this right off the bat, that premise I didn't even know about. I went into this movie blind. All I knew was that a lot of people on Letterboxd really seemed to dig this movie. And you know what? I can see why. This is a very enjoyable movie. This is a thrilling movie. It definitely earns its thriller genre title. This is a film that I feel like for 90 minutes it manages to keep me engaged thoroughly. It's very well directed, keeps things at a breakneck pace, um, very good acting. Sarah Paulson does a really good job. Kira Allen also, I think she has a future. I think she's really good and a lot of people will go to this movie and say, oh wow, she was in this movie to begin with and she nailed it from day one. Um, the score is not amazing, you know, for the movie, but I will say the score definitely sounds good in the moments, but it's nothing memorable or anything. Cinematography is decent. Um, I liked a lot of the shots and the composition of such, as well as, I have to say, the color grading. I think the dark lighting also really helped out. Um, and again, I really also liked the influences that this movie had, which is going to lead me to the negative. So... I like this movie. I think that it manages to, with the directing and acting, really keep me engaged as well as the way it's paced. But I will say that I do have some issues with this movie because overall, I think this movie is enjoyable, but in the long run of things, just okay. And hear me out when I say that. So five minutes into this movie, I immediately thought of two movies. And those two movies were Misery and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And sure enough, this movie follows that formula to a T of both movies, in my viewpoint. Um, if you haven't seen either of those two movies, and I know that one of them is, oh gosh, uh, like 60 years old and the other one's like 30 years old, you probably will be really surprised by this movie with a lot of the twists and turns. But if you literally have seen those two movies, you'll be able to see the formula. And even though, again, the way it's directed still manages to keep you entertained, and I do always say that it's not the premise itself, but how it's executed, I get that, and I agree with that, obviously, because I made that statement in past reviews, but I think that that does kind of overall, in this case, slight things a little bit, because the directing is enjoyable, but when you think about this movie in retrospect, you say to yourself, at least for me, that it's enjoyable, but if I had a decision to say, hey, watch a movie where there's literally only, like, two characters, and you have to see them, like, face off against each other, I'm probably going to go with the other two movies, and heck, maybe even Rear Window. Um, you know, because those are movies that I think I can analyze to death. I feel like this movie, because it's so breakneck in its pacing, I don't really have time to do that. And if I do rewatch it, I'm still going to be you know, focused on the fast pacing because that's just, that's the way it's structured. And that's okay. That's fine. But I think that for me personally, that's something that overall in retrospect, it's why I can't give this movie like a really high rating because I think that whilst I get why a lot of people do dig this movie, I think that, again, if you've seen a decent amount of movies, you've seen this before and done better. But, again, for what it's going for, it's done well. I do also have to say that I did think that there were certain things that characters do that felt like the script was telling them to do. And I get it. Obviously, this is a scripted film. But a lot of times, a script that's really done well, it doesn't feel forced. It feels very organic in its approach. But there were just character moments in this movie that, towards the end of the movie, happened because of the fact that the script told them to do it and not where you believe it. You, you believe that these characters are selling it. Um, so that's just for me personally, though. Um, I, I know that some people do think that there's some of those moments are, like, you know, earned. But for me, it just kind of felt a bit forced. I will say, though, the ending, you know, to wrap back around to the positives, I will say the ending is very much so effective. And I think it really does kind of show, like, you know, it's it, it really is... It's something, man. You'll see. I really liked the ending. But um, overall, Run, it's it's a film that's very entertaining. It will keep you engaged. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you like thrillers. And on that note, I'll be giving Run a 3.25 to 5 star rating, which, for those like a hot sauce rating, it's good old Frank's hot sauce. So, yeah, this is, again, it's an enjoyable movie. And, again, if you enjoy yourself a really good thriller, can't go wrong with this movie. So, guys, Run, did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also, this is streaming on Hulu. I did forget to mention that. It's streaming on Hulu, so if you have a Hulu subscription, you can watch it for free. But, um, yeah, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and as always, follow me on Letterboxd, and I will uh, catch you guys later.